uh, Dubai team. I'd like to also introduce my colleagues, Fatma, Khaled, uh, Mohammed, and Nicola, who are also here and should pop up on the right corner as well for you. Um, so uh, what we'll do basically is I'll walk you through an overview of Expo, and then we'll move into uh, questions and answers, and that's when the team will be joining me. So uh, I think, uh, as Diana mentioned, I think any questions that you might have, please feel free to click on the Q&A button on, on Zoom. And uh, my colleagues here and friends will be, uh, will be uh, noting of them and we'll talk through them at the end. So um, is the, uh, does, the, does the poll show now, Diana? Is it, does everyone get to see the poll now or shall we give everyone a moment to fill out the poll? Uh, the the poll now. just right now. Um, actually, even the per, even the participants, so which means you, the group of you, if you want to fill it out too, so that you can see the answers, you don't have to fill it out obviously because you know them. Uh, there'll be, I think, we're going to have four okay. little tiny polls during the whole time. So go ahead and fill them out, and we can give you all the answers right away. Thank you. Perfect. I think everyone would have gotten a pop up right now with a poll. So if you don't mind just, just clicking on your answers so that we can uh, start. All right, shall we, shall we click on the next poll or, or do we move ahead? Hebe? Um, okay, could you see the results? Yes, yes, I can see. All right. Okay. The next poll I think is now as well, right? Okay. Uh, sure, I can launch it now if you'd like. Yes, uh, please. Um, please let me do that. Could you see that? Yes, I did. All right, let's give everyone a few moments just to, just to complete the poll. Quite a full house today. Yeah. All right, can we, can we, uh, can we close the poll so we can move ahead? Sure, let me share the results. Could you see the results? We're... Perfect, uh... okay. Great, I got all the answers. Thank you so much, Hiba. Uh, okay, so first of all, uh, um, I think it's great to see that most of you, so over 70% have actually had an expo presentation, which kind of helps me uh, tailor uh, the information. So if there is a repeat, so I do apologize, 30% of you have not heard this before, so I may just repeat a few things. Um, so uh, starting off, um, and it's great to see that some of you actually have been to World Expos in the past. Uh, so just to give you a bit of background, I'm sure you, uh, you can all see the screen right now or the, uh, or the presentation. Uh, World Expos uh, take place uh, every five years. And the first World Expo actually took place in 1851. And the legacy of that expo is the South Kensington area, which today boasts uh, Exhibition Road that includes the Imperial College and the v and Museum. And, and there's been multiple expos uh, since then. Expos have been known to showcase uh, cultures, technology, and innovation. And people in the past used to see Expo as, uh, as a step into the future. So many inventions and, and innovations that we use today have been first shown to the world at a World Expo. These include uh, the telephone, human robot, the X-ray machine, uh, Braille, among others. And at Expo, we are very, very proud of these record-breaking stats. This is the first World Expo to take place in the region. When I say region, I'm talking about the Middle East, Africa, and South Asia region. Uh, we are very proud of the fact that 192 countries confirmed uh, to the Expo, which is one of the highest country participations in the history of World Expo. Um, and also our commitment of, of, the, of one country and one pavilion, which is the first time in any uh, any World Expo. When we say one country, one pavilion, 
uh, in the past there's been uh, expos where uh, where countries would be would be clustered under one pavilion and and we at we at expo 2020 believe that every country has a unique story to tell the world and hence has committed to giving every country a pavilion every expo has a theme our theme is connecting minds creating the future building on the uae's legacy of uh, being a midpoint and connecting uh, thought leaders and, and like-minded individuals from around the world. And under which we have three sub-themes, opportunity, mobility, and sustainability. When we talk about opportunity, we talk about unlocking potential and shaping communities uh, uh, for the future. Mobility is not only about the transfer of, uh, of individuals uh, from one place to another, but also the transfer of goods, the transfer of data from one place to another. Sustainability not only, not only speaks about preserving the planet we're in, but also about green economy and green energy and renewable energy as well. Now, these three sub-themes co actually come to life uh, at our site. And you can see the three districts, the Opportunity District, Mobility, and Sustainability, connected at a midpoint called the Al-Wasl Plaza. The Al-Wasl Plaza is, um, Al -Wasl is actually the Arabic word for the connection or the connecting point. But it, but, it, but it is also the old name for Dubai and also is the connecting point between the three districts. It is, uh, it is, a, uh, it is a 360 degree dome trellis and is expected to be the world's largest uh, 360 degree uh, projection surface um, by the time we open. And uh, there will be four entrances into the, into the expo, one from each district. I'm not sure if you can see my mouse, but one pointing out from each district and one coming in directly through the uh, Al Wasl Plaza. Each district will have a anchor pavilion, so the Opportunity Pavilion, the Mobility Pavilion, and the Sustainability Pavilion. Uh, the Opportunity Pavilion is built by AGI Architects, and it's meant to uh, trigger uh, uh, the desire to act to create a better world. And mobility is actually going to be built by Foster and Partners. Sustainability is going to be built by, uh, is, is, uh, sorry, is designed by by Grimshaw Architects. Um, and is going to be called Terra, which is the Latin name for Earth, and is going to be actually completely uh, zero net energy and water. Uh, you can see the Dubai Exhibition Center, which, which is a conference and exhibition center, which I'll highlight later on. The, uh, the uh, metro station, the Route 2020 metro station, which is a 16 kilometer extension of the current line. And um, also uh, the Actually, uh, the metro uh, the metro lands exactly at the exhibition center and connects you directly to the to the to the site. We announced last year our tickets uh, for the expo, and and as you can see here, there are a variety of options for uh, for uh, for tickets uh, to be bought. There are one day passes, three day passes, monthly and season passes, meant to cater to to different needs and requirements. Now. Obviously, many of, many, many of you are actually here for this part. Obviously, with an event of this scale and size, the involvement of the business community is imperative. Uh, we actually conducted a survey to our participating nations. And interesting enough, we actually found that 70% of the bodies that represent the participating nations are actually business bodies. When I say business bodies, I talk about ministries of commerce or FDI entities or others. And what's interesting about that is, is the fact that they actually have a business objective uh, for their six months. Over 80% uh, have marked Expo as an opportunity to enhance global trade. Uh, many countries are looking to either access uh, this region or access the world using Expo. Um, over 80% have plans to bring in business delegations throughout the Expo. And over 80% are looking to host uh, business programs throughout their time at the Expo. Now, based on this, we've developed five key business platforms. Starting off with business programs. So uh, here's just you know here's just a snapshot of the of the wider programming we actually have at Expo, including which we have business events within them. So uh, we have national days. So every country, including Canada, will have a national day. Uh, at the expo, and during this national day, the whole site transforms into that in the, into that country. And uh, when, 
when that nationally happens, you know, we talk about history, culture, best practices, and and typically there are also business business forums and events that uh, that t take place around that time, including business delegations. We also have a special day uh, celebration, where basically uh, the these these celebrations or or occasions actually uh, are are on a global scale. Uh, these include uh, Diwali, the UA National Day, uh, Christmas, New Year's Eve, Chinese New Year, and International Women's Day. We have thematic weeks, where some of the best-in-class business weeks uh, take place. And these business uh, weeks or events could be from forums to TED-like uh, TED -like conferences. These include climate-focused, health and wellness, and, and water-focused weeks. We also have international days. International days, basically, uh, we've partnered with relevant UN agencies and mandated UAE ministries to co-curate 13 international days. Um, uh, these include uh, Cities Day, Tolerance, and Water Day as well. So I highlighted the Dubai Exhibition Center earlier at the, at the master plan. And uh, basically, it is a customizable exhibition and conference uh, space. Uh, 45,000 square meters. The, as I mentioned, the metro station will land right in the middle. The spaces will include, you know, uh, as small as meeting rooms to as large as large conference uh, conference spaces. If this is something that is of interest. Please do uh, connect with us via via Diana, and we'll be more than happy to connect you with the relevant team. We also have something called the Business Connect Center. The Business Connect Center is a physical space in the heart of the expo overlooking the Al-Wasl Plaza. And the, uh, the, let's say, the tenants of the space will include uh, UAE trade and investment entities, as well as chambers of commerce from the region. And um, ultimately, the, uh, uh, these individuals will be, uh, will be utilizing, uh, sorry, uh, will be based in the space and will be highlighting them in the business calendar, which I'll get into in the next slide. The business calendar will be your online portal to access all events or programs tagged business, from B2B sessions to business events to even incoming delegations. You'll be able to see that you know, incoming delegation from country X, uh, from this background, and how to connect with them as well. And you'll be able to see the, the, the tenants of the business center. Uh, so th there's a point I actually uh, missed, missed earlier, which is, the reason we selected these uh, sectors or entities in, uh, for the Business Connect Center is because when we conducted our survey, majority of the countries wanted to either access this region or tap into FDI into their countries, and hence why we selected these, these, uh, these countries. Moving on to the business matchmaking platform. This is going to be an AI-powered matchmaking uh, platform both in an, in, an, in, an, in an app and web-based uh, platform where, you, where through an AI uh, algorithm, you'll be able to be matchmaked with, with relevant entities. So you'll be able to see, obviously you can see my face being connected with Asha here, but basically uh, you'll be able to complete your profile with who you are, um, what you're looking to conduct, what's your objective, what's your background, and the system will automatically match make you with others that are relevant. But also, you'll be able to see availability of these individuals. So you'll be able to click 11 a.m. with this individual, and that person will automatically receive a notification of your interest to connect. Lastly, we also have the online marketplace, which is an online interactive platform that allows, uh, allows you to actually access opportunities um, uh, i.e. Uh, tenders and procurement packages uh, from Expo and some of our uh, partners and contractors. Uh, this is something you can do now. It's the click of a button. It's completely free of charge. And uh, not only you know, does this meet our requirements you know, to bring in some of the best businesses, but also uh, at Expo, we've committed 20% of our total budget for SMEs. And this will be a great platform for, uh, for us to help um, uh, support that, that, that commitment. Many people ask us what will happen to Expo post-Expo. So this site will transform into what is called District 2020. 80% of, of the event uh, uh, construction will remain, but to just be repurposed and reutilized. We always say that actually we are building 
a dynamic integrated city with its first six months being a mega event. This space will actually, um, will actually be, be lead gold standard and will have advanced telecom infrastructure, bearing in mind that Etisalat and other technological partners are on board with us. Now, this is a great initiative um, that the District 2020 team actually has launched, which is called uh, Scale to Dubai. Ultimately, what this initiative includes it's, it's, a, it's, it's meant to offer uh, uh, startups and small businesses an opportunity to soft land uh, and set up into District 2020. Uh, and, and there are certain kind of uh, certain requirements when it comes to, to, uh, to this initiative. Ultimately, it is, uh, you know, entities have to have a proven track record. It has to be a startup or a small business and must be within uh, these industries technologies and enablers. When I talk about these industries, these include travel and tourism, logistics, education, technologies uh, that we seek to attract uh, or the corresponding technologies, big data, AI, IoT. Enablers include accelerators, incubators, uh, and, uh, uh, and VCs as well. And what the ben now, what the benefits, uh, you know, what benefits will be included, uh, this includes two-year uh, free workspace, two-year visa, uh, two-year uh, subsidized urban living as well. Uh, feel free to click on this or just note down the URL. And again, we're also going to be sharing uh, this PDF as well with Diana to, to shoot across to you and you'll be able to click on all these buttons as well and access and get to, and get to check out uh, some of the um, details on this, on this initiative and you'll be able to actually submit uh, interest or share this with uh, it though the Canadian pavilion design is beautiful. It's one of the one of the more remarkable uh, designs that we that have been announced uh, to some of our countries. So if you haven't, it's on our thank, website. Thank, thank you. I I totally agree. Uh, mind you, maybe my my opinion is a little bit biased, but it is a beautiful web, <laughs> a beautiful design, and just so that you know. Uh, as to date, still, there are, we are opening the opportunities to the Canadian Business Council to be able to help you host your business opportunities there as well. So please feel free to contact us, and we will get you to the right uh, consular section committee, too, for those things. We just, everyone has to have a little bit of patience for the moment, and we're going to do great. Um, yes, the design of the building is quite flowing. Uh, please go, uh, we'll whoop that link up on our website too, so you can, everybody can have a virtual tour of that as well. Sure, and I can, uh, there, I can drop sorry, the link, like, I can also drop the link if you'd like, there's a, there's actually a page on our website with the Canadian Pavilion, and it, it kind of details who the architect is, there's a design, there's a beautiful video as well. So, yeah, that's that's my 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 favorite repost, by the way. If you so, if you see any extra reposting, it's from the it's from the SCBC Dubai. It's like, oh, I'll repost this. Thank um, you for maybe the that. I uh, know you're welcome. I think that's just even just a simple way. I mean, let's uh, to help get the word out is just by reposting from official sites. So if you're going to repost something about Expo, uh, please go to the correct site, go to the correct, uh, you know, it is just a question of reposting. Sometimes that's how all the business councils can work together by reposting from the official site. All right. Was there any more polls or anything that we needed to go through or are we, I think we're polled I think out? We've done. Uh, I, think, I think we've gone through everything. Okay. Fabulous. I want to take this time to thank you, everyone, for uh, obviously taking the time in your busy schedules to go ahead and speak to us. Thank you. You are an amazing team. I've had the opportunity of being with some of you prior to this that I feel very lucky. Uh, and we're very proud of what you're doing and the hard work, especially in this particular time, taking is the extra care to keep us all safe. So please keep safe yourselves. And Thank is there so any closing Diana. comments that you want to tell us? Is there anything you would like to Diana, a tie up with? I want to first thank you and the Canadian Business Council uh, for arranging this. 
Um, I also want to highlight that, you know, please keep posted on our social media platforms. Uh, there's, a, there's a dedicated uh, page on our website for business in general. Uh, you know, do log on, do submit your emails for newsletters, you know, do keep in touch. And, uh, you know, there's, there's more to come. So just uh, uh, remain engaged. Fantastic. Yes. And then hopefully a little bit later on, we could come maybe do another session with an update. I think people would be quite excited about this. Um, I was, we, were, we were joking a little bit in the background the other day, all joking aside, this does help get the information out there and people can do it from the comfort of their home and home offices and therefore maybe actually get the correct information that they need to make their businesses and their, and their families grow. That's about it. So thank you. Yes, we will, with a follow-up letter with the slides and whatnot and the proper links, we will send it to all the participants if that's so, okay. With, we'll try to get that done in the next day or so. So thank you, Expo team. Uh, you have a fabulous day. Take good care of yourselves. Stay safe. And obviously, with all your free time that you might have at the moment, watch some, you know, CBC webinars. Chill out with us, okay? <laughs> we'll do it. Thank okay. you. Pleasure, okay, Dan. ciao.